happy Friday. Today I want to do a kind of like get ready with me and um, dive into some new fun products that I recently have picked up like this Wet n Wild. Um, <clears throat> oh excuse me, my throat is very um, scratchy this morning. But this Wet n Wild um, palette and I recently picked it up from Walmart the other day and I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted to see a video with me using this one and testing it out. It's so ginormous. I mean this is my size of my face and this is the palette. It's huge. And anyway, so I kind of want to get ready. I have a wedding rehearsal that I need to go to tonight. So yeah, I want to just get ready and um, hopefully make, try and make my makeup last all day long for this wedding rehearsal because I don't have time today to retouch up stuff. So anyway, so let's go ahead and I'll start with the glasses and by the way these glasses are from Zilu they're super super cute um, I talked about them in my favorites video and um, I got a couple pairs because my child had lost my other ones so I'm just gonna pop my contacts in real quick maybe if I can get them out it's the trouble with having nails and contacts they're very hard to deal with but anyway back on the glasses thing um, my child had lost my glasses so I had to order a couple new pair and um, we recently found them after them being gone for almost a month. They just magically appeared. I did not want to wake up this morning, so it's very hard to put my contacts in. They're not wanting to behave. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I do have my cup of coffee that I will be sipping on because I need to go, go, go today. So, you know. Anyway, let's go ahead and I want to, I think, start with my eyebrows today. First, so let's go in and I'm going to go with the e.l.f. Cosmetics um, brow pencil I'm just kind of fill them in real quick. Okay, so now that those are like somewhat filled in, I'll touch them up after I'm done with my makeup. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with um, concealer and we'll start on the eyes first today since I have never used this palette before and I don't know how it's gonna perform. I just recently picked up a new Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder Concealer because I have not had one in a very long time. I've been out and I forget how much I love this concealer. I don't know why I always struggle with packaging. It's very annoying. It's like being a toddler and not being able to open anything. Oh, it's coming. Ta-da! So I'm just taking this Morphe sponge I recently picked up. I've really been loving this sponge. I've never tried a Morphe one before, but I really like this so far. So good. Okay, so next I'm gonna take my Cody Airspun powder and set my eyelids with it. Alright, so now that my eyes are set, let's open up this Wet n Wild palette. I'm excited. It's so huge. I love the packaging on this. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> there you guys go. Oh my gosh, that's been a, a struggle this morning. Anyway, it's very beautiful. And then let's open it up and see what's inside. Alright, so this is the color palette. It's so pretty, guys. Except for one thing I've noticed is that this looks exactly like the James Charles palette. Not like exactly like because like the pan size and stuff is different, but it's huge. And then it also has a lot of the, oh, I just stuck my, look at my finger, just right in there. Of course I did. Um, <laughs> anyway, it, a lot of the colors like the yellows and the pinks and the purples and stuff look very similar to the ones in his palette. Um, maybe I'll try to like post up a picture so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is a very beautiful palette. I love it. I want to see how these perform. I'm going to do a couple swatches. Okay, so look at this pigmentation on these. They're so pretty. Look at that, my pinky. It's very shiny. Ooh, so pretty. So I think I'm going to kind of maybe like practice um, the look that I want to do for um, the wedding tomorrow. So I am going to get a fluffy brush. Then I think I'm going to go into maybe, ooh, let's do this shade right here. The one I stuck my finger in. And I'm just placing this all over the lid as like my base shade. Okay. 
I love that. It's just very simple and it just has a pretty like little brown neutral wash of color. Nicely pigmented. It performs just like it does in the pif and the pan it looks the exact same on the eyes did i mention it was a rough morning already okay so next i think i am going to go into um this shade right here same brush and i'm going to put this through my crease and kind of just buff it out and i am dragging it up a little higher than normal like a warning could have slept here for days Okay, so next I'm going to take this um, shade right here and doing the same thing. I'm kind of just building up the colors in the crease because I kind of want a um, smoky cut crease. That's at least what I'm trying to go for. Um, but I want it to be soft and very blended. So I'm just taking my time and blending all these shades together until I get the exact look that I'm going for. So next I'm going to take this darker brown shade here and um, actually you know what? I'm going to switch brushes and I want to get more of a condensed uh, fluffy brush if you know what I mean. Let's do this one here and picking up that shade and then just placing it just in the crease. I've never been like a huge fan of Wet n Wild shadows before, but these are really actually very nice. Okay, so even though it's looking really messy right now, that's okay because we'll go back and clean it up. But I'm going to go ahead and I want to take um, even this darker brown here and then maybe mix it with a little bit of that black. And I'm going to just place it in the outer portion of my crease and then I'm going to also bring it down into the outer corner of my eye. Okay, so next I'm going to take some e.l.f. concealer and a flat brush and I am going to start carving out my lids for that cut crease. Okay, so now I'm just going to set my lid with this shade right here. And then normally I would probably put on some eyeliner and some lashes, but um, I will save that for the wedding tomorrow. And I'm just going to put on some mascara. Got a restless mind. Okay, so now I'm just going to move on to the face. I'm going to prime with this Milani uh, Green Goddess facial oil. Okay, so then next I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Foundation. I'm going to go ahead and go in with some concealer, the same one I used earlier. 
and then taking that same sponge and we'll just blend it out. And then I'm going to be using this Fenty Beauty contour stick. And this is also newer to me. And I'm just blending it in with my sponge. And then taking the same powder, I'm just going to be setting the, my face with this. And I'm kind of and sort of swishing it around I am pressing it into the skin so that way it lasts longer wanna shake the ground wanna break away let loose I'm tired of waiting gonna make that move all the neat and signs okay so next I'm gonna take this bronzer or a bronzer maybe topper from Becca and it's a little shimmery it's very pretty and I'm just gonna go in lightly where we contoured and buff this over it's very pretty it has a nice warmer undertone to it and I would really like warmer opposed to cooler tones just let draw away Okay, so next I'm going to go into this new blush I got from L'Oreal. This is their peach blush here. It's very pretty. Okay, so next I'm going to try this um, Pretty Vulgar. This is or a highlighter by Pretty Vulgar. And I have not tried it out on the face. My friend actually gave it to me because... She said it didn't really work for her, but it's really pretty. So we'll give it a go. Ooh, that is very pretty. Uh oh. So it dries down super duper fast. This is the thing, so you really have to like go in and blend it out really fast. And of course, I made like little splotches on my face. It's a very pretty highlighter, but you really have to go in and you really gotta blend it out really quickly because it dries down so incredibly fast that it's, once it's on the skin, you can't really move it around. But it's very, very pretty. Okay, so real quickly, I'm just going to kind of put some of the, those first shades underneath my lash line that we went in on the top. And then I think I'm going to go into this shade right, whoop, you guys can't so you can see that. The shade right here, um, and just on a pencil brush, I am going to use it as my highlight for my inner corners for just like a little pop just set a little bit there and then going into my mascara on the bottom lashes okay so next I've really been loving this milk makeup um, fiber brow gel I got this in my boxy charm and I love it it gives volume to my brows and makes them look a lot fuller. And I like how they make them all sticky up Because I love a floofa fried brow. Okay, so next I'm going to apply this Moon Child by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Lip Gloss. I'm just keeping it simple today on the lips. Okay, so here is the makeup look. I really like it. I think it looks really great. I 
love this palette. I highly recommend it. It was retailed, I think, for $14.99 or $14.98 from Walmart. I'm sure you could get it online as well. But now I want to get my hair done. So we're just going to take a little brushy brush and go through it. I have not brushed it this morning, so this is really painful. And probably painful to watch, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so next I'm going to be using this um, crimper that I was talked about on my Instagram. This is from Bedhead, and it's a wave crimper deal. And so I'm going to be doing that today. Not too crazy, but just where it adds, you know, a little bit of volume to my hair. And um, obviously it has to look good, so yeah. But I have um, used it before, and so I'm excited to use it again. So I just put up half of my hair so I can get to it a lot easier. And then just gonna start from the back. And then I'll turn like this so you guys can kind of see. So I didn't do a whole lot to that one. Let's try it again. Could have been too big of a piece too. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue doing this to my hair and I will re be right back for the last couple pieces. Okay, so now that the crimping is done, I'm going to go into this Heritage by Mindy McKnight Texturizing Powder. My sister-in-law recently turned me on to um, her hair products. I've really been loving them. I also um, picked up this um, leave-in conditioner the other day as well. But yeah, so it just looks like baby powder. And then um, I'm just kind of going to do this number. I look like a lioness. I feel so pretty. Okay guys, here is the finished look for today. Um, I really actually like how it turned out. I like my hair. It just is super simple, just has some texture to it. Um, I might have to pin it back a little bit because it is very lioness today. Um, <laughs> that volume texture powder is very voluminizing. I mean, look at that. It's like a woolly mammoth head. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really did love this palette. I loved the color selection and the way that they um, blended out. They blended out really nicely on my face and I'm excited to try out like the more like colorful colors. I kind of stick to, you know, the natural tones today for the wedding look practice deal I was doing for tomorrow. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below if you have any other looks that you want me to do with this palette. I can surely do it for you guys. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.